Uh, round four match of the day saw East Fremantle backing up after toppling Claremont last week by six goals in a very impressive display. Their first for the season. Peel Thunder were winless coming into this game, but very, very close behind Perth in a strong finish last week at Lathlane Park. So it stood to reason that it was going to be a very, very tough game at Rushton Park, as it often is for East Fremantle. They do not relish coming down to Peel Thunder's home ground. Their record isn't good, but they got off to a great start with Brock O'Brien, who's a class player and in good form. He kicked an early goal. And this one from uh, Just Justin Monaco from a long way out was a towering kick. And all of a sudden, East Fremantle had Peel on the back foot. They got out to a, an early lead. However, Peel were persevering continually. Uh, Monaco again putting a fist into it. And this was uh, not out of the textbook. But uh, Matthew Batty, he kicked four goals for the day, got the job done. And Peel Thunder were certainly still alive. They trailed by just 15 points at quarter time and continued to battle hard in the second half, although East Fremantle got the upper hand, sometimes through various mistakes made by the less experienced Peel side, and sometimes the goals came far too easily. This one, where Brock O'Brien kicks the ball well and truly out of the ground. But Peel Thunder, if there's one thing you can say about them, they've got a lot of courage, led by Pat Travis. He got the hand pass off then to Brad Holmes, who drilled a magnificent goal, certainly one of the goals of the afternoon. And efforts like that just kept Peel Thunder in the contest. They trailed, however, by 31 points at half time and in the third quarter East Fremantle tried to put them away and in fact got the lead out to 36 points. Brendan Jones however the skipper kept on coming he's an inspirational leader, kicked a goal there however in the final quarter East Fremantle were able to prevail Peel Thunder in the contest but players like Max Duffy a player of the future kicking long goals like that just continued to thwart the efforts of Peel Thunder to come back as we see the final goal of the match. And East Fremantle, despite efforts like that from Matt Orzel, who kicked two final quarter goals, they were going to prevail, and they ran out winners after leading all day. The final score, 15 goals, 21. East Fremantle, 111 to Peel Thunders, 13-13, 91. The margin, in the end, 20 points. Next week, we travel up to Bassanine Oval. Our match of the day, Swan Districts versus Peel Thunder, will be on air from 2pm.